Hi, Robert Decker with RMS Fitness Equipment Services. Thanks again for tuning in with us today. Today we're going to discuss the importance of checking and maintaining motor brushes. So today again we're going to continue our series on treadmill maintenance and the benefits of such things. Now today we're going to talk about motor brushes. Uh, for most individuals in their homes, uh, you may not have necessarily had this repair done, but the importance of checking our motor brushes is because on a motor like this, if we allow our motor brushes to get too low and wear down, you'll wind up replacing a costly motor because of that. Now in a commercial setting, it's normally every six months that you want to inspect uh, the motor brushes on your treadmill motor. Now in a commercial, or excuse me, in a residential setting, you could probably do it once a year, depending on how often you use it, but no more than I would say every two years to make sure that your motor's running at its optimal strength. So today I'm going to show you how to check it. Uh, again, this is on a Landice treadmill. So I am going to take a basic screwdriver and I'm going to pop what's called the motor brush cover. Very simple process. Uh, the ease of doing it on the table honestly um, isn't much different than doing it in the unit. Just a little less space, but we thought by doing it here on the table you could get the understanding of how to replace and check motor brushes. So if you are already zoomed in for me, uh, this is the compartment for the motor brush. It's retained by this clip. So in a moment I'm going to pull this clip out. It's spring loaded. I would recommend make sure you have a good grip on it because if it pops on you, it could go somewhere and then you wind up searching for it for quite some time. So now that the clip's out, now I want to access the motor brush. A simple pair of needle nose. Grab the edge of the motor brush. Get it out as far as possible. Turning it. The motor brush connection is within the motor. You can pull it out very simply again with, with your needle nose can be in there tight and that's how you get a motor brush out. If I was replacing it, I would simply just follow the instructions in reverse, which I'll show you in a moment. But the importance here is once you have the motor brush, whether it's connected, again with no power of course, you want to see how much of the motor brush is left. Now according to Landice, you want to make sure you have about three eighths left. So with this ruler, I'm going to measure from the back end of the motor brush where the wire inserts and I want to make sure that I have at least three eighths. Now obviously on this motor brush I have almost two inches. So in uh, respects to this motor brush it's perfectly new and can be reinstalled. The other thing that uh, we want to mention and you'll probably notice in the photograph you're about to see is called the commutator. That is the brass device in the motor where the motor brush makes contact giving you the motion in the motor. Now you want to make sure that's a nice brass color and so there are various tools to clean that. Now in our uh, respects here we don't have to do that. The motor's in pretty good condition so I'm going to reinstall this again with a very simple piece of or a needle nose pliers. I'm just going to snap it back on. Of course it's going to go on easier than, than it came off hopefully. So I've got that on. Now I'm going to stick the brush in to its home. Find my clip. Push it down as necessary until it makes a click. Again, just make sure. I always like to just put my finger on it, make sure it's in good position. Put the cap back. And that's how you check. Maintain your motor brushes or in some cases replacing your motor brushes. It can be that simple, but keep in mind what we're teaching you today is maintaining your treadmill to reduce costly repairs. So we hope you enjoyed this. In fact, if you'd be so kind so you can get further updates about treadmill maintenance and repairs as well as other fitness equipment, be sure to subscribe to our station uh, for future updates. Again, thanks for checking in with us here at RMS Fitness Equipment Services. Have a great week.